What's up guys, this is Grant, and today we are putting hydraulic brakes on a mini bike. So let's go check it out. So what we have here are just your basic mini bike brakes. They just suck so bad, okay? And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the handle here. It's a 22 millimeter handle. And then we're going to replace this cable and we're gonna keep this disc on here. We don't actually need to replace the disc. We do need to replace this. However, this is a piece of junk that pretty much every mini bike will have. Like if you're running a doodle bug, Motovox, Monster Moto, Mega Moto, whatever you wanna call them nowadays, they all run the same type of setup the same type of rear wheel, the same disc, and the same brake calipers. And these calipers, you know, they're, they're good for just small kids and whatnot, but if you wanna have really good stopping power, you can easily convert this to hydraulic and keep the disc. So we're gonna show you how to do that, but first we gotta rip all this stuff off and figure out how we're gonna fit the calipers on there. These take eight millimeter head bolts, Next, we're just going to take the zip ties that hold everything together off and go ahead and disconnect it down here. One thing I want to point out here is that you'll notice where the pads actually sit behind the brake. Um, that's going to be an issue with the hydraulic brake caliper. So even though the spacing between where the two mounting bolts are is the same between here and here, it's gonna position the brake pad at a different spot. So we're actually gonna to have to do a little bit of fabrication. It's not just as simple as bolting it on and then having it work just fine. Okay, so I have the brake off here. This is the old brake. This is the new brake right here, okay? If you look at it, there's really not that much of a difference. This is the old brake pad, this is the new brake pad. If you look closer, the old brake pad is a little bit thicker than the new one, okay? So before you go just throwing this whole thing away, sometimes you might just need to replace the pads in the old one and you should be good. But we want more stopping power. And what this will not allow us to do is to stop hard and then sometimes it actually locks up. This hydraulic brake allows us to have a, a, lot, a much stronger clamping force here on the pads. And as soon as you let go of this lever, it won't lock up, okay? And the really nice thing about this is since the pads are pretty much the same thing, you can buy the pads for cheap. You know, they're the, pretty much the only consumable here is the brake pad, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, uh, if my alignment is a little bit weird or if I need to have the pads a little bit closer together, I might actually opt for this thicker pad and put it here in the hydraulic brake. I just wanted to take a second here to explain some issues that people have had with these calipers and to show you why they're having these issues because you normally won't have these issues at all. So one common complaint is, okay, the pads don't line up. Well, I showed you that you can put a thicker one in right here using your existing brake pad, okay? And the pads are like super cheap. I've got a link in the description for that. Uh, and you can just buy replacement pads, okay? And they'll be thicker. So another issue that people are having, which is complete garbage, is people are saying these things fall apart. Well, actually what's happening is this has an automatic adjustment on it. If you can see this here, this black part right here, that's the part that actually mounts to the frame on your mini bike. That's the part that does not move. What happens is the rest of the brake moves in and out. So let's say you installed it to where your caliper was this, was maybe right, right here, okay? And then you're like, oh, okay, well this, the brake needs to go out a little bit, right? So you install it, hit the brake and oh, comes apart. 
You're like, oh man, these brakes suck. No man, you suck because you didn't install it right. So basically what you want to do is you want to have this automatic adjuster kind of right in the middle of adjustment, like maybe right there. So when you hit the brakes, it'll, it'll move just a little bit like this, okay? You don't want to have it so you hit the brakes and then it has to adjust out, okay? That's bad to have it all the way lined up with this edge. You want to have it somewhere around here, okay? So keep that in mind because if you really slam on the brakes, this is going to automatically adjust it for you and automatically align your brake uh, pad to your brake disc and you don't want to have it popping out like this, okay? You don't want to have it popping out. You just want to have it aligned just right, okay? The way we are having this oriented is pretty much this needs to be uphill compared to this. But this is pointing downhill the way we have it oriented on our mini bike. So what we're going to do is take the brake hose, loosen this little 10 millimeter nut, and rotate it so this hose kind of comes up this way. This bracket right here will line the brake up just right, okay? So that's the good news. The bad news though is that I had to rotate it 180 degrees. And if you look right here, we'll rub on it because that spacer is now on this side of the axle instead of the other. So again, like I said, it's not just something as simple as bolting it on, but we're pretty close right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this bracket right here so we'll keep that spacer here to keep everything aligned and then I'll put a piece of steel on here and weld it between these two pieces and then clamp the brake down then tack weld it remove the brake fully weld and we'll be set so this takes eight millimeter head bolts just like the other brake this is the reservoir here and you want this pointing up okay so this is for the left hand brake never hurts to put a drop a Loctite on this thing. Okay, so as you can see here, I've taken these two Allen head bolts, um, cut them off so they're pretty much flush here, and they're attached to the brake caliper. What I've done here is I've zip tied the brake, the brake handle fully engaged, and as you can see here, the brake is actually being held only in place by the clamping force. What that's going to do is that's going to align everything exactly where it needs to be, okay? And then once that's aligned, I'm going to just take a little piece of steel here, tack it maybe in one or two spots, take the brake off, fully weld, and we'll be done. There it is, fully welded, and we're just going to let it fully cool before we put everything back on. As a side note, this is the other mini bike that I have. It's the same style of mini bike, has hydraulic uh, lever brake line, but it has a different brake back here. It has a much more heavy duty brake, and it has a brake caliper. Okay, so I've left a link in the description for that. I actually had to drill the holes in this one to make it fit and space it out with a with a little nut in between the hub here and the the brake disc itself but it has extreme stopping ability i can lock the brake up full speed going 50 60 miles an hour down the road and lock the brakes up if needed so if you need additional stopping power uh, there's always bigger better options and I've left a link in the description for all that stuff too. Here we are. Got it all installed. Just need to paint it up a little bit. Um, if I need to add more hydraulic fluid, I can. Just add it in the top, pop this little guy off here, and then bleed it out. But uh, we've got enough in there as is, so we should be good. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let's go ride the mini bike. About the brakes. To set the brakes. Ooh, locks it right up if you if you do it again. 
Okay, let's go test it out for real now. Ooh, that's good. So what do you think of the brakes, Colin? Uh, well, my other ones didn't work and these ones do. They lock up, it's great. So there you go, the brakes work. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below what other modifications you'd like to see on this bike. And again, I left a link in the description for all these parts. So if you're curious and you want to do this yourself, you can go follow those links and check it out. So thanks guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.